When I created my very own football club, I never thought it'd be possible to sign players like Jordan Henderson while we're in the lower divisions. But somehow, we did it. With Hendo coming in and leading the team, we've had an incredible start to our EFL League 1 season. We're already in a playoff position. But just as everything was going well, three S2G players caught gossiping during training on the sidelines? And wait, I've just received three emails as well? Oh my days, three players have secured transfers behind the gaffer's back? Of course, this is happening while everything's going well. Who could these players be? Is it gonna be a first team player like our captain Bernard Bernard? Or could it be our Brazilian sensation Igor Ribeiro? No, it just, it, it can't be Dave Rooney. And no way, the first player's been revealed and it's awesome. Kovalenko. Remember him? He was one of the first academy prospects we had got and yes we weren't giving him that much game time ever since Billy Wilson came through but he was still a good option from the bench. He's now gone ahead and joined Northampton. We barely even got any money for him. Wow my guy literally went and joined the best team in the league right now. No 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 we've got the second player leaving and who is this? Is that Randall? No it's a first team player. Tony Randall has made the transfer to Swansea for a million. The thing is, I can't even blame Randall for this one. He's moved up a division with this transfer. He's in the championship. But don't forget, there is still one more email left to open. Who's the final player that's gone? Okay, so apparently the final player has been sold, but I don't see anyone missing from the first team. Good sign. Is anyone missing from the bench? Oh, no. Manchester City have signed our backup goalkeeper. What is happening? For 3 million, Francisco Rodriguez, the 17-year-old, he's moved to City. What? Wait, we've just got a message from him. Gaffer, you're a fraud. You didn't see my talent. Pep Guardiola just told me I'm the next Edison. And I'd rather sit on the Man City bench than on your stinky club's bench. Bro, wh where's all that coming from? I hope Edison never retires and forever you be on the bench, Francisco. Okay, now that's a bit mean. But anyways, with the three players gone, we're now in trouble. We have just three days until the window shuts. And if we don't figure out a way to bring in replacements... I think we're not getting promoted. Forget that, we could even get relegated. Of course, guys, we're back with another Creator Club episode. Can we have an S2G FC series without crazy drama? Absolutely not. But honestly, the one transfer I'm really gutted about is Randall leaving, because he was playing every game for us. But hey, an opportunity to play in the championship, fair enough, he took it. Also, am I a bad person for not really caring about Kovalenko leaving? Like, that's kind of fine. But the one that pissed me off was Rodriguez. The guy's ego was crazy as well. But the other thing is, we've missed out on a 17-year-old goalkeeper with probably crazy potential, 67 rated. That kind of hurts. I'm now really hoping Sam Tickle actually becomes amazing because we kind of need him to now. We sacrifice Rodriguez for him. But what we need to do now before deadline day is bring in a winger. That's, that's absolutely what we need. Because we could do without another goalkeeper because we've got this Hudson guy as backup, although he's kind of used. Useless. But the fact that we've lost both Kovalenko and Randall means, yeah, we need a new winger. We do have 9 million to spend. That's one of the biggest budgets I think we've ever had. Should we just go all in on a really, really good winger? And I've just found Tahit Chong, a former Manchester United player. He's well within our budget. You might be thinking he's playing for Luton Down. How are we going to sign him? Well, Luton Down, I think, have been relegated. That means we can indeed sign a player from the championship. Bro, this would be crazy. He's 73 rated. He is way better than Randall. No ifs and buts and he won't even cost us all that much. Let's see if we can get him for 3.5 million. A former Manchester United player. This would be crazy and yup for 3.5 million. I think I think we're able to do this. In fact, I'm gonna try and reduce my offer to 3.2 million. That would be hilarious but let's see if it works. It actually is. Bro, I'm a pro negotiator at this rate. Bro, what am I even doing? I'm decreasing this offer down to 3 million. I'm just, I'm just playing now. I think it will work. Yup, we're gonna get this deal at 3.2 what I wanted. Brilliant negotiating from myself. Oh, Chong's got the crazy afro as well. In-game, he's gonna be 10 times better. The afro is like a plus 5 rating. Oh, we're gonna have to offer him big wages because he's coming down from the championship. Let's see if he's okay with 12,000 uh, per week. That's crazy. He's gonna be our highest paid player and he wants more money. A signing bonus 
a 10 gold bonus as well. It's expensive, but we're desperate for a winger right now. And I think we're going to do it. With all the players leaving, it's been a difficult start to League One. But we've now recovered, bringing in a former Man United player in Tahit Chong. Oh, this is perfect, I think. Having Tahit Chong down the right side and Billy Wilson on the left. But I still feel we're going to miss Randall because he was still pretty decent for us. By the way, last episode, we dropped our new kits for this season. And I think a lot of you guys were rating them 10 on 10 in the comments. But look at this, boys. S2GFC trading cards. Imagine how cool these would be. Igor Ribeiro with a minus two defense. Bernard Bernard with a two attack. Hey, I think that's harsh. He's been scoring a few goals here and there for us. But yo, look at that Dave Rooney card. The home kit just pops. And talking about the home kit. I'm wearing it right now. And so can you. S2GFC kits are now available to buy. The link to the store will be in the description. Not just kits. We've got hoodies, caps. Like, I'm literally wearing an S2GFC cap. It's the best way to represent the club, support the club. And also, I told you the delivery times are going to be a lot faster this time around. We've already got some of the kits and hoodies delivered. We got Dorcas repping the S2GFC merch. Let's go. But you know what? I think we should run like a discount code on the website. Okay. Okay, let's do this. If Dave Rooney scores in our next game, we'll do Rooney 10% off. What are we saying? Well, let's do this. We've got the Heat Chong also making his debut in this one. Rooney's playing up top. Billy Wilson, our first game after all that carnage of players leaving us. But let's not look behind. Let's look forward. Oh, there he is on the ball. The Chong, I'll tell you this. He already feels way better than any of the players we've got on the field, barring maybe Henderson. That's because he is a Manchester United Academy player. He is going to be good. Look at his dribbling. Looks for Dave Rooney. Rooney almost scored and got y'all a 10% discount code there. Oh my. Having Henderson in this division, honestly, is such a privilege, dude. Like... Look at him move the ball. He's got the passing on point as well. Just what a player. Dave Rooney gets the ball in a great spot. Shoots and Dave Rooney scores. It had to be him. Use code Rooney on the website to get yourself a 10% off on S2GFC merch. He's done it for you guys. I genuinely can't believe the start we've had in League One. It's, it's crazy and we might be getting another goal here. Jordan Henderson scores as well. What a start to his career in League One. This was a massive win and a massive performance for the club but now we're on deadline day and we've got to decide if we want to improve this team because well we do have the facilities to make maybe another transfer but you know what with things going well i kind of want to just stick with this team see how things go and maybe in january we'll revisit our decision and maybe bring in a new player i think that's the smart play because we don't need to change things when everything is working and so we're getting through deadline day it's done i know we lost out on three players this window but to bring chong and henderson i feel like like, net net we've done well what would you guys rate our transfer window just let me know in the comments oh by the way look at this igor ribeiro is the august player of the month that's so cool man let's go the next pele already filling up his trophy cabinet although yep it's a third division award but still look at the league table boys right now we're second a position above northampton the jokes on you kovalenko but you know what let's keep pushing for wins because this season i don't want to be dealing with any of the playoffs we want automatic promotion. I can't lie. Chong is actually different gravy, man. Look at the way he moves. Oh, lovely ball for Dave. Tough angle, though. But Dave Rooney makes it work. I don't know how. Uh oh, Bernard Bernard. It's going on one of those crazy runs. Instead, he lays it off for Billy Wilson. Playing down this left side. Billy... I know, for once we're seeing Billy Wilson with a calm and composed finish. Things you do love to see. Lennon Miller keeps going. Sees the cutback for Dave Rooney. And there's another one. I don't think I've played this good FIFA in a long, long time. And that's another massive win that we've just secured. Ooh, but we draw the next game 1-1. But man, this is one of the problems we're going to deal with in League One. Look at the stamina issues we've got. Games are like every three days. I'm going to have to rotate the team massively. We're going to have to put Campbell in there. Will Power is going to have to play. Ward 2. Bro, I don't even recognize this team. And of course, we do end up losing when pretty much our entire first team was rotated. Maybe this is something we need to think about for January. Improving like the overall squad depth. And you know what? Next episode, we are going to host a press conference. You guys can ask me your questions on maybe how we can improve this team. The good thing though is even with the recent few bad results, we're still top of EFL League 1. 
hoop it. Northampton and Kovalenko are pretty close. It's super tight, man. One loss and I think we'll be out of the top six. But by the way, do you guys remember when we signed our contract with Umbro? There was a clause that wanted us to get five players in our first team Umbro deals, basically wearing the Umbro boots. And we would get a million for that. I think I want to cash in on that now. Okay, who are the five players we should be giving the Umbro boots? Okay, one is definitely Dave Rooney. He's wearing these generic EA Sports boots, man. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, do Umbro have anything decent? Oh, this this isn't too bad. This looks pretty decent too. Ooh, I like these white ones. We'll, we'll, we'll go for this one for, for Dave Rooney. Why not? Yo, these ones are sick and I think Igor Ribeiro will look good in them. And I mean, I gotta give new boots to the TikTok merchant Will Power, so he's gonna be one of the players. We'll give Thomas Arnold at the back a boot deal as well. And for the final player, I'm thinking Bernard Bernard. It has to be him. He's literally wearing these no brand blue boots. And I think we'll hook him up with these ones. That's one of our Umbro clauses done and that's got us another million in the bank which we can use in January. Oh, not gonna lie, these Umbro boots are a bit of a vibe. Okay, come on. The new boots does not mean direct victory, man. We need to do it on the pitch and I'm hoping we had a few bad results so we can get back to winning ways. Okay, this is not good. We just got opened up but these guys don't know how to finish. We'll take that. Endo, that's that's why I love him, man. He's so good in the midfield. He's he's handled the Premier League. EFL League One feels like a joke to him. Okay, okay, but we almost just got opened up there. Good save, Tickle. He got Ribeiro on the charge. Still Ribeiro. Oh, the dribble was so good, but the finish, not so much. That's the heaviest touch I've seen, and that's why we just put in a crunching challenge like that. No, no, no. Can we, can we not, can we not concede good defending? But this game's been tough. No, 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 no. And we concede. I knew it. To be fair, it's deserved. We're not playing the best of football here. But if we want to get automatic promotion, we need to be winning games like this. No inconsistencies. Silva sliding this one for Dave. Oh, the first touch was good and the finish was brilliant. No, 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 no. Oh, we're so lucky the post saved us. Oh, lovely cross and Chong's header. How is that saved? Maybe something then from a set piece. It's off the crossbar. We're now the unlucky ones. We might still have a chance though here. Brilliantly done, Billy Wilson. Good ball in, cleared away. Okay, wait, Ribeiro has it. Oh, the flick up, the volley. It's saved again. I don't want to drop points here, boys. Matteo Silva, lovely bit of play. Henderson looking for a coach. Maybe a cross at the back post, Chong. Bro, just, what was he doing? That was the worst movement I've seen. And there you go, we've dropped points. Suddenly, we can't seem to win a game. See, even our next game, we've dropped points. From first position, we've now dropped down to fourth, which is a playoff spot. This is what I'm saying, man. These lower divisions are so tricky. You go on a bit of a run of bad form, and it just completely throws you out. Oh, one thing I completely forgot about was willpower. You guys remember for the TikTok deal for potentially next season when we're in the championship, we need Will to score 10 goals this season. And of course, he's not scored a single goal up until now. I think I need to start giving him some game time. Hopefully, he can get a few tap-ins or something. Because, yeah, we need that TikTok sponsorship if we do get to the championship. Ooh, but we're playing Salford City next. Okay, I'm not I'm not going to bench Dave Rooney for this one. Maybe we'll bring on Will Power in the second half. Come on, we got to get back to winning ways in this one. But Salford are actually a really decent team. And they've almost opened us up. Bro. And wow, they've scored. Offside. Haha, <laughs> the joke's on you. Thank you, linesman. Oh, no, no. We just literally let this guy run through our defense. Good thing we've got Tickle in goal. This is getting a bit dangerous now as Sam Tickle is carrying us. No, no, no. We've given them a gift. Sam Tickle. No, we can't expect him to save that. Suddenly, I just can't seem to win a game of football. Go on, Shong. Oh, he's taking it inside. Jordan Henderson trying with his left foot. Oh, Hendo. That might be a contender for goal of the season. Every time Hendo plays, I've got to say this. We're so grateful that he's at our club. Guys, I think we need to shoot more often with Jordan Henderson because he's just banged that with his weaker left foot. That is outrageous. Also, guys, second half, Dave Rooney has had a bit of a stinker. We're bringing on Will Power. I'm just hoping he can score. Oh, he got Ribeiro using his pace. And here he goes. I could put in a cross in for Will. Will, what was his movement? Guys, ever since Will Powers come on, we've we've been completely like being dominated here. This is getting really bad, and well, they've scored. Ribeiro trying to get us back in this one. Let's go, Igor Ribeiro with the goal. No, 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 
no, in the 94th minute. Oh, that is painful, man. We just can't seem to win. How did Will Power get a 7.4 rating? He literally was the worst player on the pitch. Dude had zero shots. I don't get this rating system. I'm not gonna lie, I feel scoring 10 goals with Will Power is gonna be the most difficult challenge ever. Absolutely brilliant, guys. We've dropped out of the playoff positions. We need to get our act together. We'll focus on getting the Will Power goals later on. For now, we need to just get wins. You know what? Our new signing Chong, I think we need to start expecting more from him because because he's a former Man United Academy player. He's got to be doing better. Well, now he's suddenly woken up as he looks for Dave Rooney. That should have been a goal. Oh, wow. We've just been opened up. This is, this is really bad. Tickle, you legend. This is why... I was kind of okay with that Brazilian Rodriguez leaving because I've chosen Tickle to be our goalkeeper. Oh, Dave Rooney's first touch was lovely and now he's broken through. Massive chance for Dave. Yeah, he's got to score this and he does. It's just the start, boys. We need to score more and just get a guaranteed win. It's been a while. Oh, this is something I haven't seen from Chong. The pace he's got is actually pretty amazing. Lovely ball. Not really. He's got to work on that end product a little bit. Oh, Chong has made a lovely run and threw on goal. Can he get his first goal for the club? The Heat Chong. What? I thought that was in. How did he miss? Guys, I kid you not. It's harder to miss from here than actually score. How did he not score this? Unbelievable. Bro, was Chong aiming at this policeman? I think he was. I think Chong was trying to hit this policeman and he even missed that. Ribeiro looking for Dave Rooney. Oh, he gets there first. That's a brilliant finish. That should settle this game for us. Finally, we actually got a win. One thing that I find really crazy is how Dave Rooney has adapted to League One so easily. Eight goals in 12 games is nuts. But once again, boys, we've got midweek games and this is where the team just gets slaughtered. We're having to make a lot of rotations and for sure it's going to make an impact. Let's see if we can get a result here. Of nope. course not. Our second team is definitely not good enough for League One. And yep, the inconsistent results have led us to being sixth now in League One. We're eight points off the top especially after how good of a start we had. And that's why these games with our first team is available. They're so important. We need to win these. Oh, that's a bad mistake at the back. They're gonna score. This is the last thing we needed. Hey, Chong. Inside for Dave Rooney. It falls for Hendo. And oh no, the deflection. Didn't help us there. No, 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 no. We've conceded again. This was an awful defeat, man. Just awful. I cannot believe this, boys. We've literally dropped down to 10th in the league. What is this bottle job? We've, we've literally gone from 1st to 10th. And that's the thing. It feels like we never have a full 1st 11 fit. Ribeiro, Henderson, and Chong won't be available for this next game. Gonna have to play willpower again, man. <laughs> I just don't like this. Thankfully, we've got Lennon Miller for depth in midfield. But this Campbell guy is just so average this is what's kind of letting us down this season you know what will you score in this game and i'll let you make as many tiktok posts as you want i've never used this guy campbell and i can see why dude literally runs like a truck go on will go on will willpower no he couldn't turn half time and this was really bad without our big players we were struggling can we make some changes i think i'm gonna have to bring on jordan henderson for maybe matthew silva yo campbell is a fraud i'm, I'm gonna bring on ribeiro we'll play him out wide for now it should be fine hopefully with these changes we can actually get a win dave willpower Will Power, he's actually scored. The Will, the Power, he's got it all. The first goal towards that TikTok contract and the win today. Will take it. That just came out of nowhere. Will Power, you bet he's going to be dropping four to five TikTok posts after that. No, no, we can't concede right after we score. Thank you, Tickle. Of course, of course we concede. Oh. Endo, looking for Dave Rooney. Dave Rooney keeps going. Dave Rooney, no, the finish. He couldn't get his shot off. Oh, but we still might have a chance. Igor Ribeiro. Looking now for Billy Wilson. Still Billy. Inside for Will Power. Oh, he was so bad there. Billy Wilson. Oh, lovely stuff to find Dave. Dave, no. What was that dribbling? Okay, guys, we might have one last chance in this game, but it's with Will Power. That's not what we want. Or maybe it is what we want. Oh, no. Will, that was an insane attempt. Oh my, we've got a corner in the 90th minute. If I've ever wanted to score from a set piece, it is now. Dave Rooney, how was that not gone in? We're going to try again, boys. We're going to try again. Henderson, 
Brilliant ball. Header saved again. And we drop more points. I'll say this, guys. We're finally realizing that EFL League 1 is, is not an easy league. We had a great start, but now this division is taking a toll on us. And things are going to get even worse for us because our next game is against Northampton, where Kovalenko is a starter and he's established himself as a key player for them. Oh, wow. He's actually gone up to a 66 overall. Next episode, we cannot afford to get embarrassed by him.